Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 85 rated Inform Juan Cuadrado. So if you do want to go and pick up this card and try him out for yourself, you will have to pay anywhere between 10,500 to 200,000 coins on both Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So as you can see, looking at some of his stats now, he does play in at the right mid position. He has 93 pace, 82 shooting, 82 passing, 90 dribbling. 65 defending and 70 physical and especially looking in that shooting stats you can see there he's got that 93 shot power and 88 long shots what you can definitely feel in game and as well as that he also has really good acceleration and sprint speed so this has been in game stats now let's get into the overview so now moving into the highlights for Inform Quadrado, the first pro I could from this card was his pace. Now this is probably very obvious just from looking at the card. You can see how good this guy is already. You know he's got, I think it's 93 pace on his card. And he has like 94 sprint speed and at 91 acceleration. So you know you put those two things together and you've got an absolutely rapid, rapid um, player. And Quadrado is that, he's really fast. And he can use his pace really effectively in this game just because he can easily out sprint defenders, um, get in behind and just beat players so easily by just using his pure pace. Then moving on into the next pro now, what is his dribbling? Now this guy's dribbling again, as I say with all five star skillers, and the dribbling is just always really, really good. And Quadrado is no exception, keeps it really close to his feet, and he's just really, really good for scaling with because how smooth his dribbling is. And then moving on to the final pro with Inform Quadrado, and that was his shot power. Now this guy also has really good long shots, um, but I think it's his shot power that makes his long shots, you know, so good and so unique. He's able to generate so much power, and I would even say sometimes he puts too much power on it. Um, um, especially when you are in the box, you know, you don't really want to use too much power, but for sometimes, like, um, when you're, like, on the one-on-one -on -one chances, he seems to just blaze it over the bar just because he has so much shot power, and his finishing isn't really the best, as we'll move on to later in the con section. So now moving into the next con now with Quadrado, and that is his strength. Now, this guy isn't the weakest of players, but he's still pretty weak. He has around 61 strength in game, so he can sort of win a few shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder battles, but sometimes he will get pushed off the ball. Um, when he's in those shoulder to shoulder strength battles, so that's one thing you need to look out for. And then the final con I could find on this card was his finishing. Now this guy's finishing is pretty bad, he only has around 74 finishing in game, so you don't really expect him to really finish too many chances. Maybe if you applied like a Hunter Kem style to him, it would improve that finishing a bit, but again as I've already said, you know that shot power just makes it so much harder. Um, for him to actually, you know, score these chances, um, just because his shot power seems to just blaze over the bar the majority of the time. But as you can see there, his shot power does come in use and get a really nice rainbow flick goal there in off the crossbar, and he just looks so satisfying to watch. So anyway, guys, this has been the highlights. Now let's get into the overview. So now moving on to the overview for Inform Quadrado, we're going to start off with the value for coins and I only gave him a 4 out of 10 just because he's going for around 170,000 coins and in my opinion that is way too much for an 85 rated Inform card. So I think he's probably going to drop to maybe around 120 to 80,000 coins um, when the squad battle and foot champions rewards are released. Enjoyment wise I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10, this card was pretty enjoyable to use. Competitiveness wise I'm going to give him a 7.5 out of 10. The reason it isn't any higher is just because of that finishing you know, um, when you you play game modes such as foot champs you want to have really clinical players because you don't really get too many opportunities in front of goal so that's the only thing that really lets him down competitiveness wise moving now into the scaling section this guy was pretty good for scaling i'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 and then i'm going to give him an overall a rating of a 7.5 out of 10 so guys if you have enjoyed this player review and want to see more fifa 18 player reviews on my channel don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thanks for watching and see you next time